What's going on guys? Welcome back to Uber Adventures. I'm John and today we are taking a look at the Nobo 19.6 by No Boundaries. So this RV is the perfect getaway. It's off-road capable. It's good looking and it's got a rack on the top. You got solar and everything up there. So there's a lot of options with an RV like this one. But before we jump into this, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. But I'm also wanting to see what your thoughts are since I've started doing shorts. So yesterday I did a short on this exact RV. And then today, obviously, I'm putting out this video today. Uh, but my plans are maybe a little bit less information during the short. Just something to let you know that, hey, this is my next video coming out. So basically, shorts are coming out Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then the regular videos are going to be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So I hope you all enjoy. I'm trying to keep it on a specific schedule so it's easier to watch. But let's jump into this. All right, let's start on the very front. As you can see, you have a big, beautiful front window. And you got a two-thirds of the front is solid fiberglass, which is very, very nice. Uh, the other thing I love about these Nobos is they come standard with TPMS. So that's very, very nice to have. And then, of course, you have your location for your battery right here you have one propane tank and then you got a 3500 pound front tongue jack and then you do have a two and five sixteenths inch ball so all right coming around right here you have your manual jacks you have your pass-through storage right here magnetic of course which is always nice to have Coming down, you do have a rhino rack, so you can carry uh, canoes, surfboards, things of that nature. You have a grill and some other stuff in here. So this actually comes with quite a bit of stuff. So that's really, really nice to have. And then of course you do have your pass through. I guess I should actually close that before I forget. And then you have an awning. It is LED lit that goes all the way across the entire side of the RV up until about where it starts to curve down on the very front, which is very nice. And then of course you have that solid front glass door. I mean, you can't see it from the inside, but there is a uh, just a window, but it looks phenomenal from the outside and you got your little billy goat right there. Coming back up here, this is where you're gonna set up your grill. It just hooks up to this rack right here. And then you got your LP quick connect right there. Very nice. You have a six gallon hot water heater. You have two regular plugs right there. And then you've got very nice Goodyear off-road tires, which they are 235-75R15s. And then of course you have a Kurt suspension on here. It's fully independent. That looks phenomenal. And then coming on over, we've got a step above by MoRide steps. And then even though this one does have a solar panel on top, you can actually hook up another solar panel right here. Coming over here, this is going to be your spray port. So you have a pressurized spray port. So if you're cleaning fish or doing something along that kind of job, I guess, it's, that would be a great thing to have and you do have a hose in here somewhere and then of course all LED lights coming over here you, again the beast mode package the solar on board that means you have a solar panel up top and then of course your NB 19.6 uh, which is the model and then Asdale so Asdale is a non organic uh, piece of material that goes between the fiberglass and the insulation prevents uh, delamination prevents water damage prevents a lot of other things I mean it's really good with temperatures it's 50% more insulated than Lawan which is basically a little piece of wood so very very nice to have you have a suburban furnace again all LED lights as well you do have a back bumper people are going away from bumpers for some reason and then you do have a ladder that goes all the way to the top and you are pre-wired 
for your backup camera and you do have a 235 75 15 spare tire which i believe is the exact same size so and yes this sticker is meant to be sideways coming on this side it is a 30 amp supply on here you have your catalyte hookup so your cable and satellite and you have a black tank flush this is a single slide and then of course coming over here you have your city water connection as well as your fresh water connection all on one side which is very very nice to have and then of course this is the other side let's see here you have hoses because you have a vacuum on the inside so there's a lot of cool stuff in here so this thing's packed out and then here's a few of the specs so the dry weight of this rv is 4816 pounds the length is 24 foot 8 inches your tire rating is c your gvwr is 7650 pounds and your axles are rated at 3500 pounds so very nice and of course this is a 2023 model all right all right let's go ahead and take a look on the inside this thing is awesome let's do it all right let's go up the steps three steps the fourth step will get you into the rv itself all right let's take a look let's jump on in let's start with the kitchen actually I really love this kitchen so the first thing you have here is your TV I guess it's not technically part of the kitchen but it's in the kitchen space but I love that a lot because you could hook up your your phone a computer to it so you can watch videos or you can even hook up a, uh, a Roku and I think these are actually smart TVs but I do like the location of it because you have your table you can either sit there or sit over here and eat either spot gives you great view of the tv same for right here at your little bar area that i absolutely love as well this thing is so great um coming on down from there you do have two cabinets with acrylic glass or whatever you want to call it it's just plat oh now that's i'm pretty sure that's plastic with some more goodies again you got a tpms sensors and then this is all part of your rhino rack and everything so you get quite a bit of stuff with these campers and for the price it's not bad at all and then coming on down i love the sinks in here they're like legitimate steel and then of course you have one of my favorite faucets it's the uh, i call it the mad max design i think it looks fantastic i do prefer the ones that are two different metals like the these are going to be just different colors but this is fantastic either way and then you have quite a bit of prep space right here so that's always nice to have but then you have a suburban two burner uh stove i guess you could call it and then you have a vent fan just above that coming down you have a convection oven let's open this up microwave combo it's all filled to the brim and then of course down here you have a foot vac and then you have um, like a mini vac or whatever you want to call it but it's a vacuum cleaner right there and the hoses are down in the storage and then of course you just sweep into that coming up a little bit let's see what's in here oh okay you got a couple little drawers very nice and then right here just a little bit of storage but i like how they kind of take away the access to your plumbing up top which is very nice you have plug right here and you have a plug right here and then this is the controller for your um 
uh, what's it called? The uh, solar controller, not the solar controller, but the uh, inverter right here. That's your controller for the inverter. And then of course, coming on back here, you have two fantastic places to sit, especially if you're just talking with whomever's cooking or just a place to hang out. Like I could actually, I'd rather do my work right here if I'm just using my laptop than sitting down on a couch trying to sit up straight and working right here. So this is not a bad, bad idea at all. Love it. And then of course you do have a window right there as well. So, and then since we're already over here, let's talk about the refrigerator. This is a Norcold RV fridge. You can see the Norcold logo. And then opening it up, plenty of space, plenty, plenty of space. Very nice. It's got that brand new smell to it. Very awesome. And then you have your thermostat right there. And your, your uh, air conditioning is a Coleman Mach, which is located right over your bed. So you are going to freeze out if you blast this thing AC full pop. I mean, you're going to be cold. But let's go on back to the back. You have your heater right here. And then above that, I believe this is going to be hanging area. Yep. Oh, wow. That's actually quite a bit. So, and then of course you have your safe right there. And then going up and a place to hang as well. Very nice. And then you do have a uh, mirror on both sides, which again, super convenient. We have our bathroom. So we have plastic toilet. You have a shower with magnets. So this thing is very, very strong. So, and then I was educated on this. So I want to thank, I forgot who it was off the top of my head, but I want to thank him for explaining this to me. So this has a, a so based off of what he said, and I don't dis doubt he's right. So the water recirculates in here and t until it gets to like an actual temperature where it gets hot and that little blue line will turn white, letting you know that it's ready to take a, uh, take a shower. And of course you do have uh, heat and cold in here and you do have a little bit of a place to put your head for the taller folks. Me not, not needing it, but plus it brings in a little bit of nice natural light. So I do love that. Coming over here, you have your medicine cabinet, another mirror, plenty of storage right there, acrylic sink. Uh, I think this is just a plastic faucet. And then a little bit of storage underneath along with a plug on the very bottom. Coming around, okay, so the shower miser. So it's uh, supposed to be saving you quite a bit of money on, or I guess money on the water. And then coming down here, you have your solar charge controller. We don't have any batteries hooked up, so it's kind of freaking out. And then you have your tank reads. You can check to see what your tanks are doing. And then you have your heater, water heater and a water pump. And then you got your tank heating system. And then a light switch in here. So very, very nice. Very, very nice. I like that. I love the idea of just having all the heating tanks. I don't know why they don't do that to everything. Because you just never know where you're going to go. And then you do have an auto detect uh, fuse panel. So it will detect whether you have a lead acid battery or a lithium battery. So it will charge automatically based on what your needs are. So coming over here. So these, this turns into a bed really easy. You just lift it like so. And then it turns into your bed and into a bed, not necessarily your bed. Your bed would be over here. So, all right, I want to fix this. All right, somewhat back to normal. And then this table does collapse down so you can actually use it as like a footrest or just a coffee uh, table or whatever you need, or you can take it outside and just enjoy it under the awning and use it however you need to use it, which is always nice. But for right now, we're going to move it out of the way. So I do want to show how easy this is. So you do have storage underneath the bed or the couch rather. 
So if you lift this up, you can see the storage underneath and then you have the nets right there. So since I'm already here, let's go ahead and make that bed. So you see I've already flattened it out. Now what I really love about this is this. So whenever you open it, you just pull it and it'll automatically come out and it's spring loaded. So whenever I slide it back in, it'll automatically lock in and latch. And of course you have the map already, which is very awesome to have. I'm just curious if they have a sticker package you can get or if it comes with one. I need to get with my rep. All right, and then you, this just comes down like so. And then your mattress is gonna fall with it. And then bam, you are set for a bed. That's so easy. It's so easy. And of course you have your front window right there as well. And then if you don't want the window to be blinding, you can just hide it all day. One handed operation. Very easy. Now this is going to be a little bit more challenging because I like to grab it by the back with my hand and then bam. Tell me that's not easy. That's so convenient. And to me, this fixes the Murphy bed. Everybody that hates the Murphy bed, I think this makes it well worth it, the way it's designed. And the way this RV is all around designed, I really love this layout. All right, coming down here. Pretty deep storage up top, a little bit more shallow on the bottom. See if you can get a better look. And then on this side, light switch. And then you have two USB-A ports and then a plug and then more hanging space, which is very deep. Hello down there. And then same for over here. You have two USB-A's and a regular plug and then a deep hanging area. Needs to be vacuumed out, no big deal. And then you have like some little platforms up here you could use to decorate on both sides. Man, I love this thing. All right, guys, I'm going to go over the specs right now. All right, let's go over the specs. So the length of this RV is 24.67 feet. The width is 7.33 feet and the height is 9.92 feet. The dry weight is 4,919 pounds. The payload capacity is 2,731 pounds and the GVWR is 7,650 pounds with a hitch weight of 650 pounds. You have one fresh water tank, which is 30 gallons, a gray water tank, which is 30 gallons and a black water tank, which is 30 gallons. One propane tank, which is 20 pounds. You have one awning, which is 16 feet in length. This RV sleeps four. Your air conditioning unit is 13,500 BTUs. Your heater is 20,000 BTUs and you have a water heater that is six gallons. Back to me. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell notification. I can't wait to see you until next time. Bye.